the news I want to talk about before we start the show is uh, for people who know me, um, I'm a big fan of the music scene. I've been involved with the music scene for many, many years uh, over my lifetime here in Manchester. And the, the Brexit, I mean, the Brexit situation as if is, is going to destroy, as at the moment, unless things change, the touring live scene for um, UK bands because of this reason. To go and tour, and don't forget, you don't make money anymore from sales. I mean, someone was telling me the other day they had something like a million, a million downloads, or a million streams, sorry, on Spotify, and they got some like 30 odd quid. But, so they make money soaring. But to go into Europe now, it's an absolute nightmare. You need certain permits. You need certain, I've got in fact visas uh, for each country you go into. But the permits for every instrument range from 350 quid. Also, adding to that, if you've got a guitar, I mean, lots of people have certain aged guitars, certain rosewood maybe on that instrument, you cannot enter that country with that guitar because of the wood that's been on the instrument. Yeah. Did you know that, Mike? No, I didn't. But so they're the doing the, the, Well, it doesn't make sense. Oh, it the does idea. with the constrictions that we were expecting. It, it makes sense that there'd be lots of different... I mean, if you go back to something, yeah, if you go back to, I mean, even on the, the world of classical music, certain violins won't hit that criteria. And you've got to, get on this one, have a, every single piece of equipment that's going to be taken abroad has to be identified and a sheet made and it's going to be signed off. So that includes little things like, say, that size to a great big speakers. It, there's thousands and thousands of bits of kit required to go on tour it's going to destroy one of the greatest industries this country has ever produced which is the music scene you just look at it over the years the people that have been has generated the music has been generated from here across america across the world and it's going to be destroyed because of brexit there, there is no thought gone into many aspects of this this is one of these areas and there are other great areas in, in this and I'm not we'll get back to obviously the music scene is, is important to me I've got a live music venue yeah. that's remaining it, it's shut now and I want to reopen it but uh, what am I going to reopen am I going to reopen it are they going to be bands able to perform are they still going well, to be people you must have had so many bands from around the Europe playing at your venues and loads of them absolutely what loads. makes me laugh though is Roger Daltrey who's a big Briggs tier yes a couple of years ago he yeah. went on oh we don't need control like this get rid of this Gestapo type thing yeah, well, in you Europe. Go. It changes mind now. Yeah, of course it's changed, changed his, his mind. mind. Yeah, as have many people in the UK who this week started to get parcels that they'd ordered off Amazon and eBay and various other places and have suddenly ended up with an £80 fee or higher on items that probably cost less than that to buy. Yeah. They, the, the duties that are being imposed at this end now, because they have to, to recoup the costs of, of entry into our country that's not part of the EU, are uh, now going off the scale. So that little DVD that you'd buy that was only you got from Germany, uh, and now you paid 20, 20 quid for, probably cost two quid postage. You there, Your postman's there knocking you up at 8.30 in the morning, and he's saying, oh, I want uh, 40 quid on top. So the, the, the DVD Blu-ray is yeah. costing you 60 quid yeah. and the same goes for music and imported music and all the rest of it. The, that is the tip of the iceberg and this music situation that Paul's actually going on about here is um, it's, it's yet to get as bad as it's going to get. This is going to get worse. Absolutely. The prime example is the girl bought a coat. Yeah, a coat off Amazon, but the supplier was in France. £280. So you paid £200, like you said, knock, yes. knock, knock on the door, post them £80, please. So you, what you've got now in all the private vendors that use Amazon, 95% of them this week have decided not to supply to the UK. So all of those places that you were buying stuff from all over Europe now, 95% of the vendors that are not, that, as you know, Amazon sell its own <laughs> stock. Yeah. And Amazon also have lots of wonderful independent companies that provide services and they use Amazon as a go-to. And they are not shipping now to the UK because 
they cannot find a way of making it cost effective with all the fees. And just one more thing to add on the music scene situation is you think about a band going on tour. Well, it's not just a band that's involved. Say a band's got four or five members. It's all the team around them, the roadies, the support staff, the mixers, the engineers, the lighting engineers. Every single one of them has to have a permit and a visa for each country. And you can only do a maximum of 90 days and three countries. It's knackered. Yeah. Knackered. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I'm impressed. You've passed the IQ test and got this far, so let's press that button to do the last thing that helps us. It's got subscribe on it, you can't miss it, and please ring the bell for notifications of future videos.